Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the read code question contains duplicate 2. Okay, let me explain with this example 1011 and k equal 1. First of all, to solve this question, let's think about what data we should keep. Do you have any ideas? Of course, we should have numbers we already saw in the loop. Because we have to find the duplicates, right? So what else? Do you guess? I think uh, we should keep index number for each value because uh, uh, position is very important for this question. Because uh, uh, we have k value, so which is a kind of a search range. So let's say if we are at index 2, so search range should be um, minus 1 from current index, right? So I mean this range. So that's why uh, we should keep index number for each value. That is very important. Next question is, what data structure do you use to keep information? My idea is to use hash map. That's because these information is kind of pair, right? So when we find a 1 at index 0, so number is 1, and the index number is 0. They are pair, right? And when we find a 0 at index 1, number is 0, and the index number is 1. So we can keep um, this information with hash map, like, for example, um, number is key, and the index number is value. So that every time we find a new number, uh, we can check hash map with like O1 because uh, we have number as a key. Looks good. And uh, regarding index number we should keep, we will keep closest position for each number from current index. That's because we have search range k number. So if we find the uh, um, same number, out of range k. So that is not answer, right? So that's why um, we should keep closest position from uh, current index number. Let me summarize my strategy. My strategy is to keep track of the latest index at which each number appears, which I call index j. So this index number will be j index. j index represents the closest position for that number from current index. This approach works because we need to find the duplicate numbers within a distance of k from current index i. So closer the previous index j is to the current index i, the more likely we are to find the answer. So let's see how it works. Okay, let's iterate through one by one. First of all, we find 1. And uh, there is no data in hash map, so let's call scene. So in the case, just a current value and the index number. So numbers will be key. So one and the index number is zero. And then move next, we find zero. And then check seeing if we have zero as a key. But there is no zero, right? So that's why just add zero and the position should be 1. And then move next. We found the 1, and the check scene, and the actually we have 1, and the position is 0. But uh, um, here is a point. We have k. So this is a search range, as I told you. So from index 2, so search range should be um, like a one position from current index. So that means index one and index two, right? So we have one at index zero. So actually it's already out of bounds. So that's why in this case, um, so one and one, so I mean index zero and index two are not answer, not right pair. So in the case, um, so we should update 1 with index 2. That's because when we move next position, so 
index two is closer than index three, right? So there is a possibility that index two will be answer compared with index zero because the index zero is far from current index, right? So that's why we should update like a um, same key with closer position in this case two. And then move next. So now we are index three and uh, check if, if we have one in scene and we have one, right? And the closest position is index two. And now we are index three. So current search position should be index two and index three, right? So actually it's valid pair. So that's why in this case, we should return true. That is a basic idea to solve this question. So let's jump into the code. Okay, let's write the code. First of all, create a hash map scene. And then let's iterate through one by one. We need an index number and a value in enumerate. And then nums. And if current value in hash map scene and current index minus j index scene and value is less than or equal k. In the case, we should return true. If not the case, update scene, scene and the key should be current value and the value should be index number. So every time uh, if we don't meet this condition, so we will update scene with current index number so that we can get like a closer position like uh, automatically. So very easy, right? And then after that, return false, right? Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of n, where n is a number of elements in the input array nums. And the space complexity is also order of n because we have hash map. If all numbers are unique, so we will keep n number with hash map. So that's why. Okay, let's talk about the second solution. Okay, let me explain with this example 203234 and k equal 2. In solution 1, each time I found a nearby number and its index from the current index, I kept track of them. The basic idea in solution 2 is similar, but the method of keeping track of nearby numbers is different. So let's see how it works. We create a scene. And uh, this time, this is not hash map. Actually, this is set. And uh, we iterate through one by one from index zero. So let's begin. First of all, we found two and uh, check if we have two in set, but uh, there's no data, right? In that case, just add two to uh, set. And then move next, we found zero and uh, check if we have zero in set. There's no zero, right? So just add zero to set. And then move next. We found three and check if we have three in set. There's no three, right? Just add three to set. And then move next. We found two and check if we have two in set. Actually, we have. Here is an important point before checking set and adding a two to set. So now we are at index three and we have k equal to two. Since k equal to two, the search range for duplicate numbers from index three only goes back to index one. This means that the number at index zero is outside the target range and it should be removed from the set of possible duplicates. Even if we have two at index zero, so that is not answer. The formula to calculate out of one's position is very simple. Just current index minus k minus one. So i is a current index and k is a, like a search range from current position. And uh, minus one is next position of edge of the target range. So for example, if we are at index three, so three minus two minus one, that is zero. So zero is now out of bounds. 
So that is two, right? In that case, we should remove two um, before we check and add new two to set. So remove these two. So now we have zero and three in set. And then check if we have two in set. There's no two, right? We already remove first two, these two. So in that case, uh, we should add these two to set. And then move next, we found three. And then first of all, let's remove a number which is already out of bounds. So in that case, so formula is index four minus k is two minus one. So that is a one. So one index one is out of bounds. That is zero, right? So remove zero in set. And then check if we have three in set. And actually we have three, right? So this three is uh, like a within distance of k. So this one and uh, this one. So k equal to two. So search range should be in from index two to index four, right? So this range. So that's why uh, they are like a valid pair. In the case, we should return true. Easy, right? That is a basic idea to solve this question. So let's jump into the code. Okay, let's write the code. First of all, create a set, scene, and a set. And let's iterate through one by one. For we need an index number and a value in enumerate and oops, nums. And then first of all, check out of bounds. If i is greater than k, in the case, we should remove out of bounds number. So remove and then nums. And as I told you, formula is i minus k minus one. After that, if value in scene, in the case, we should return true. So that's because all numbers in set at this point are all valid number, right? Because uh, uh, we already remove the number, which is out of bounds here. So that means all numbers in set are valid number. So that's why if we have duplicate in set, we should return true here. And uh, if not the case, just add current value to set. Scene dot add and uh, value. And after that, we should return false. Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity and the space complexity are same as solution one, which is order of n. Yeah, that's all I have for you today. Please support me with the actions such as comment and hitting like button. I'll see you in the next question.